Jokam were an extremely pious couple, but they were unable to conceive a child. This lay heavily on Jokam's shoulders, so he spent much time fasting and more <laughs> prayer, pleading for God to bless him and Anne with a child. According to tradition, Anne also became distraught. She went to her garden and prayed to God to bless her with a child, promising that the child would be dedicated to the service of God. As Aang wept in prayer, an angel appeared and said to her, The Lord has magnified your name among all generations. Those shall conceive and give birth and fruit of thy womb shall be blessed by the entire world. Then, the angel appeared to Jokum as well. <coughs> and the couple rejoiced as they conceived a child, whom they named Mary. And when the child was three years old, Jokum said, Let us call the undefiled daughters of Hebrews, and let each one take a lamp, and let these be burning in order that the child may not turn back and her heart be entrenched away from the temple of the Lord. And he did so until they went up to the temple of the Lord. And the priest took her, kissed her, and blessed her, saying, The Lord has magnified your name among all generations. Because of you, the Lord at the end of the days will manifest his redemption to the children of Israel. And he placed her on the third step of the altar. And the Lord God put grace upon the child, and she danced for joy with her feet, and the whole house of Israel loved her. The Feast of Presentation of Mary dates back to the 6th century in the East and 15th century in the West. It is based on an ancient tradition that says Mary was taken to the temple in Jerusalem when she was three years old and dedicated to God. Nano Nagel took this name presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the temple for her religious congregation. Nano and her sisters present themselves like Mary to the service of God and his people. What inspired Nano to work for the poor of Ireland? When I was a teenager, my parents sent me to France for education. When I was young, there were no proper schools in Ireland because of penal law. It was a difficult time for the people of Ireland. Most of the people were poor and most of the children were illiterate. I was one of the lucky ones. 
As my father had land and his family were rich, he decided to send me to France. So I had to be smuggled across the water to France in the hold of a cargo ship. Thank God I arrived safely. At first, I didn't like <laughs> France, but as time passed, I began to like France. My father sent me so much money that I never wanted for anything. I liked to have beautiful dresses and attended all the parties. coming home with Anne from the party. I saw a group of people shivering in the cold as they waited for early morning mass. I am very worried about all the poor and educated children. Help us, Nano! They are grown up in ignorance. You and I are educated. We must do something to help on our people. Look at these people. And why are they waiting here so early in the morning? Why? It's hardly daybreak yet. And there they are. Look, even the little children. Yes, I see them. And look at the little girl with no coat on this freezing morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, ma'am. It's very cold. What are you waiting for? We're waiting for the church doors to open. We are going to early morning mass here. How they must love the mass to suffer like that on a freezing winter morning. And look at us going home to heat and comfort. The poor value their faith and me. I value only player. Yet, God draws us all to himself. This scene moved my heart. only. If you look around us, there are so many poor people. They need our help. They have no clothes to wear, no shelter to live in, and no food to eat. The holy book says that we have to help our fellow men. I am cutting this material for their clothes. And you are right. You have opened my eyes. I think this is a call for me from God. I have to help the poor. Yes, maybe God is calling me to help the poor. And I will go with you to visit the poor. Nano, 
Hello started teaching children in secret. Mary offered herself to the Lord in the temple, and then she accepted the invitation from God through an angel to become the mother of Jesus Christ. God touched Nana's heart when she saw poor people sitting outside the church on a cold morning, waiting for the church to be open and pray and the attitude of Anne, her sister, who was so committed to help the poor. These three women invited me to think about my life and see the need of people in Murray. How can I help them as a student of Presentation Convent School, Murray? How can I be close to God? Can I be close to God by saying my prayers? Are there hungry, naked, shivering with cold people around me?